Swami Shivananda and Swami Vishnu Devananda in Rishikesh doing various Hatha Yoga practices. This was filmed in Rishikesh, India at the Shivananda Ashram. Are we on that side? Morgan Abanji Walla Tumkula, Copranam, Tumkula, Copranam. Morgan Abanji Walla Tumkula, Copranam, Tumkula, Copranam. Tumkula, Copranam, Jare Cor, Opranam. Tumkula, Copranam, Jare Cor, Opranam. Tanker Bulle Walla Tumkula, Copranam. Tanker Bulle Walla Tumkula. Minus skin, minus dress, minus ornaments, physical beauty is nothing. Just imagine for a moment, though the outer skin is removed, you will have to stand with a long stick to drive away crows and vulture, vultures. Physical beauty is superficial, illusory and fading. It is skin deep only. Do not be deluded by external appearances. It is jugglery of Maya. Go to the source Atma, the beauty of beauties, the everlasting beauty. If your hairs become grey, 
there is the first warning from Lord Yama. Warrant from Lord Yama, the God of Death. You must get yourself ready to meet Him. The wrinkles on the face and the bending of the body will remind you of the warrant. When the teeth fall and the eyesight becomes dim, you must be fully prepared to greet Him. You will get three hiccups or final passing of breath lying on the bed. When the last hiccup comes, all your possessions will be taken away by your son and partners. One will run after the savings bank book, another will take hold of the cash chest, the third your provident front papers and insurance claims, the fourth of the ornaments that lie on your person and so on. That's his life on the earth plane. Why can't you see that the money is well spent for your spiritual progress and the service of the poor and the Mahatmas? Friends, try to attain immortality through devotion, meditation, purity, service, japa, prayer and inquiry. All troubles and miseries will come to an end. O oh, nectar sons, enough of this mundane life, enough of this life of passion on in this earth plane. You have spent your whole life, energy and time in obtaining material wealth, power, name and fame. All your efforts have gone in vain. All your wealth is only a broken shell when compared with the inexhaustible or supreme wealth of Atma. Obtain this spiritual wealth, give up this vain selfish struggle. You have walking too long with passionate eyes in this universe. Give up this lustful look, meditate, look within now and behold the marvelous self and be free. Atman or Brahman or Supreme Self is the hidden treasure, is the pearl of incalculable value. It is a jewel of jewels, it is a germ of gems, it is the imperishable, inexhaustible, supreme wealth which no decoys can draw. It is chintamani of chintamanis that will give man whatever he wishes. Brahman is beyond speech, time and causation. It is limitless, it is tranquil and shines with equal effulgence in all bodies. It cannot be a particular thing. It is Chaitanya or pure, pure consciousness. It is Vastu. It is such as Anand. Knowing the nature of Brahman and Atman as such, a time, freedom or perfection. Think yourself bodiless. Identify yourself with the supreme peace and eternal bliss of your all-pervading soul. May you all live the divine life, sharing what you have with others, singing Lord's name, rejoicing in Him alone and melting the mind in the Supreme Self. Oh. Jai 
Om Living God Immortal Self There is a maker for a pot or a table So there must be a creator For the marvelous world also That creator is God God is a wire puller Sutradar standing behind the machine of this world He is even dealer of your heart He presides over all actions, karma, daksha. He is the dispenser of the fruits of action, of the, of your action. Living God by singing his name, repeating his mantra, and surrendering the fruits of your actions unto him. The Lord abides in every creation, the creature. Behold the Lord in all objects, in all manifestations. He is in the breath of the voice, in the voice, in the eyes. He is the life of your life, soul of your soul. Make no distinction between the Hindu and the Brahmadana, the Protestant and the Catholic, the Shaivite and the Vaishnavite. Within you is the hidden God. Within you is the immortal soul. Within you is the inexhaustible spiritual pleasure. Within you is the fountain of joy and happiness. Within you is the worship of bliss. Look with him. For the happiness you have sought in vain in the perishable sensual object. Rest peacefully in your own atma and drink the nectar of immortality. Ensure your life with God. Depend upon Him alone. All other initial companies will fail, but this divine company will never fail. You will not pay any premium to this divine company. You will have to love God only. You will have to give him only your heart. Satyam, truth is the seed. Burmacharya, celibacy is the root. Meditation is the shower. Shanti, peace is the flower. Moksha, salvation is the fruit. Therefore, speak truth, practice Burmacharya and meditation. Cultivate Shanti. You will surely attain the final emancipation of freedom from the terminals of birth and death and enjoy eternal bliss Supreme peace, perennial joys and immortality. Surrender everything unto him. Place your ego at his feet and be at ease. He will take complete charge of you. Let him mold you in any way he likes. Let him do exactly as he wills. He will remove all defects and weaknesses. He will play beautifully in this body flute. Hear the marvelous music of the flute of the Lord the mysterious music of the soul and the joy. Peace is a divine attribute. It is a quality of the soul. It cannot remind with greedy persons. It fills the pure heart. It is a sweet companion of sages and yogis. It deserts the lustful. It runs away from the selfish. It is an ornament of a Paramahamsa. As you think, so you become. This is the immutable psychological law. Your thoughts Wake your life. You can choose your thoughts. You can choose your mode of thinking. You can make your life as you choose. If you entertain evil thoughts, you will lead a miserable life. If you cultivate sublime thoughts, you will attain Godhead. May you all prosper gloriously. May you all lead the divine life, singing Hari's name, serving the poor and the sick with Atma Bhav, sharing what you have with others, and melting the mind of the Lord to silent meditation oh. Oh.